Fun Start Weekend off with some creativity. I'm Molly Phillip and this is Studio Saturdays. And today we'll be celebrating Black History Month by creating some pinwheels inspired by Meshach Gaba. For today's project you'll need one sheet of white paper, some colored pencils, scissors, a pencil, a tack, and glue. But before we get started, let's take a closer look at our featured artwork from the collection. Mesha Gaba is a conceptual artist who was born in Cotonou, Benin. A conceptual artist is an artist whose work focuses more on the idea behind the artwork than the image itself. Although he started creating art in Benin, an African country, when he was young, Gaba officially studied art in Amsterdam, a European country. In his work, he often playfully uses the cultural exchange between African and Western countries that he has experienced in his own life. Cultural exchange is what happens when different groups of people from different places share traditions and ideas from their own cultures with each other. An example of cultural exchange could be having a party where you and your friends bring traditional foods from your cultural backgrounds to share with each other. The goal of cultural exchange is to promote harmony between different people through understanding and better appreciation of their differences. Citoyen du monde, or citizen of the world in French, focuses on these same ideas of cultural unity. A sort of global flag, the piece is a collection of the flags of almost all the nations of the world stretched out and meeting at one point. Because there are so many, almost none are easy to see creating an image of one unified, colorful flag of the world. Gaba is a citizen of the world himself, having lived in and traveled to different countries across the globe. He shows through his work that even though we may come from many different backgrounds, we live together on one earth. For today's project, we'll be making flag pinwheels. In the same way that Meshach Gaba includes all the world's countries in his work, we will be using the flags of our own countries or heritage to create decorative patterns for our pinwheels. You can use the flag's colors or their designs. The choice is completely yours. For example, I live in the United States, so I can make simple pinwheel blade designs that are red, white, and blue. However, my family also comes from Germany and Hungary, so I can also decorate my pinwheel blades with the American flag, the German flag, and the Hungarian flag. You don't have to just stick to flags. Different symbols can represent cultures just as much as a flag can, so feel free to think outside the box. As you prepare to start your project, consider the following questions. What images make you feel most connected to the countries where you and your ancestors were born? How will you use these symbols or flags to create a design pattern? Fold the paper in half connecting the short sides together, then flip over and fold in half again for a sharp crease. Use scissors to cut along the center line. Fold the corner of the paper to the opposite edge until it creates a folded triangle. Then cut off the extra paper. Fold your square in half the opposite direction, again into the shape of a triangle. This will make a giant, even X in the center of your square. Use a pencil to outline each triangle. Each triangle will be the area to draw your flag design. Look up images of your heritage's flag to use as reference. I am American, German, Polish, and Hungarian, so I am drawing these countries' flags on my pinwheel. Draw the image on both the front and the back of the paper.
While you draw your flags, color them in with colored pencils and use a ruler to create straight lines. As you work on your GABA-inspired artwork, think about how the flags you are drawing represent who you are and where you come from. Use scissors to cut along each folded line, making sure not to cut all the way to the center. Put glue in the center of only one side and fold over one corner of each triangle, making sure that the same corner is glued down for each flag creating a pinwheel shape. Using the leftover paper, draw a small quarter-sized circle. Cut this out and glue it onto the center of the pinwheel. Use a thumbtack to poke a hole in the center, being careful not to prick your finger. Then press the tack and pinwheel into the side of a pencil, just below the eraser. Spin your flag with pride and celebrate your heritage to complete this Studio Saturday project. Thank you so much for joining us today as we made some pinwheels inspired by Meshat Gaba. And in two weeks, we'll be celebrating Women's History Month by creating construction paper portraits inspired by Nina Chanel Abney. Have a great day! Thanks again for joining us for Studio Saturdays. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to find out when a new video is uploaded. Have a good day!